Hey everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to another Eden right here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. Hope your midweeks have gone off to a great start. Speaking of great, we did have a great response for the call of the meme of the day here. This was the most upvoted one on this Invicta subreddit brought to you by Sacred Host 150. Title of the thread was You Heard the Man, and it was simply just the world if the Binding of Isaac had no enemies that flew towards you and exploded. And I do like the little inclusion of specifically this, and they point put the big red no symbol on the flying bomb flies thank you very much sacred host and we do have a couple of videos that are very close to 3,000 likes so definitely go check them out especially the ones over the weekend they were a good one uh cj is going to be nine six juliet hotel yankee four papa papa we've got good tears good damage uh good movement speed and uh, not great not great shot speed but you know what that's okay we also have the nail to start off with with our active item which is going to give us a half soul heart whatever we have a full charge and also ooh, it also give us the stompy effect as you see here although it does give us a kind of minimal but a notable uh, speed down whenever you do use the item uh, but of course the nail was the biggest the biggest contributor for hp generation early on especially if you don't have any other way to get it it can be a very good source of security now we just picked up randomly thanks to the nail in part uh the lead pencil which is actually a much better starting item than uh than eve's or uh, mom's eyeshadow which does give you know it gives an on hit charm effect and yeah if it charms stuff it can be useful for crowd control but overall you know we we would want rather we, we would much rather have the monstrous lung effect than the uh charm effect as we're going to start off once again with another famine fight and uh Seems to be the seems to be the case lately, man. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, it feels like the last three or four episodes or so have just immediately started with famine, which is always kind of a bummer. Um, you know, we talked about having uh, about the the opinions of of how you know people felt about orbitals, and you know, even though about how even though uh some people were were still kind of using orbitals every now and then it's very clear that the the usefulness of orbitals have 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 very drastically waned over the years and uh you know that is that is mostly in part great block there by cuban meat i wasn't even ready for that uh that's mostly in part due to the nerfs so you did see me use the nail here in this room because I want to try to get a little bit of extra damage, but more importantly, want to keep up with our soul heart generation since it does only come at one half soul heart at a time. When you get in a situation like this where you do have the stompy effect, you want to wait before walking over these pots until after the room is cleared. And the reason being is because if you spawn spiders, you can simply walk out of the room instead of having there and sitting to fight and sitting there having to fight them while also fighting with anything else that was also in the room. Also, also. Back out, back in, bingo, bango, bongo. You got no more spiders, though. Uh, I'm not going to go to the vault yet because we may be able to bomb our way. We could still bomb our way in there if the secret room is there. Now I'm starting to think it's not. Yeah, just little things like that are, are a good way to sort of maximize your, you know, just, just overall survivability. If you don't really want to call uh, consider that maximizing, then you're know, definitely improving your survivability. I'm um, just knowing little tricks and tips like that. So we get uh, trinket, two bombs, and a penny. Great. So I'm not going to go into the curse room here, as that would take us down to one and a half hearts, and that is not necessarily where we want to be. Although the secret room does look like it is. Now that I've seen this room here, it does look like it is adjacent uh, to the uh, to the curse room. So we might be able to get in for free, and we can. So gonna have to use a bomb to get, or sorry, a, a, a key to get into the item room, which is fine, because at least we can get the curse room for free here. And look at that, we get not one, not two, but three soul hearts. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, good, good, good. So now we've gone from a situation where we don't have any way of getting a devil deal safely to we can now afford to take a devil deal and then some. Um, and uh, you know that was directly that was directly due to the fact that we do have the ability to know where secret room spawn and that is a very good skill to have um obviously my secret room uh radar is not always on point but you know every now and then and every now and then I, I i make a pretty good call we're gonna be going over here and i we will have a full charge for the boss which is 
super great. Um, let's not get hit by any of the schmoove and dips, however, because we need to basically preserve everything. As of right now, we don't have enough to take two devil deals, and that is a problem. Um, even if we do, even if we, I mean, we are going to use the nail here against Larry Jr., um, but we still don't have enough to take a full-blown devil deal here. Oh, man, what a block that was by Infamy. Wow. I knew they were going to corner me like that, and I knew that we were pretty much hosed, but thankfully Infamy making a huge time play. Absolutely denying Larry Jr. And honestly, I guess we'll go for a little Brimmy. I, I almost kind of want to go... Oh, man. Poor Babylon does give us a nice movement speed upgrade, but a little Brimmy with piercing shots is just too good. We could... We could actually take uh, or Babylon as well, I suppose. The only problem is that it doesn't give us anything other than movement speed and damage, if and only if we don't have any. Uh, we don't have any HP, and we might as well take missing page number two because it's it's practically half price at this point. So moving on over to last week's question of the episode. Obviously, it was the first time that we've had a break from Wacky Wednesday in a little while, and we're still obviously, obviously doing a break from Wacky Wednesday. Um, I simply asked the uh, the question of uh, what were your favorite wacky what your what are your favorite types of Wacky Wednesday runs? Uh, serious feedback for future for the future of the mini series is appreciated, and lots and lots of people. Uh, we had at the time of this recording, it was over a hundred and thirty replies. Uh, to that post that I that I wrote on the uh, on the comment section asking about this, and the most upvoted comment was by Squigs. Uh, give me a second here because I actually have to look at the screen. Uh, Squigs six 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 one, who said perhaps the uh, perhaps I instead of the usual quote or question of the episode on, on each Wacky Wednesday, you can instead ask the Mosh Pit what kind of run they would like to see next Wednesday and do the most upvoted one, whether it be all items or X. Or play a specific character, or do a certain game challenge, or something entirely new. Um, that was a very common, that was a very common recommendation uh, that Squigs was talking about. Basically, basically they were asking if I would do like a, you know, instead of a question of the episode for Wednesdays, have people sort of suggest what would be a good idea and then upvote it. The only problem with doing that is that there, there's there's a couple problems with doing that. Um, it may sound innocent, but the first problem is the fact that I cannot do everything that everyone's going to suggest as much as I would love to. Inevitably, some people are going to get really kind of hurt about that or, you know, they're going they're they're it's it's bound to draw some people who are just going to get upset. They're like, oh, why was my idea chosen or oh, they're, all you guys talking about stupid things? You're upvoting this something like, that. like so it can cause a lot of a lot of discontent uh, in the community. And I certainly don't want to do that. I don't want to I don't want to. You know, I don't want to rock the boat or anything like that because I think everyone right now is is, is happily contributing to the to the growth of the channel and using the you know using oh, I killed there um, using the uh, the question of the days to sort of boost the engagement. So I don't really want to I don't want to go against what's what what we've kind of established as a status quo currently. Um, but having polls like that would definitely be something that I that I would. So I, I would I would entertain the thought of um, another another problem with that other than what I just got in talking about is that the turnaround time so I could potentially say like hey we need like a month or not a month sorry a week uh, before we would do this or like you know when, when is the cutoff date and uh, for, for wacky Wednesday and then being able to do that on the day that it's suggested is also kind of iffy, especially if it's like, hey, like there's this really awesome mod that you should check out. And then like the mod is buggy or like, I just don't particularly find it all that fun. There's just, there's potential, there's potential for, for bad stuff to happen. Um, especially like a worst case scenario would be, let's, let's say hypothetically, oh man, baby bender plus little brimmy is actually amazing. Let's hypothetically say that I'm okay with the idea of, of doing this. Let, let's say that hypothetically, we have this sort of wacky Wednesday um, request uh, question. Instead of the question of the episode, people put in their wacky Wednesday comments. Well, first off, the people who don't like wacky Wednesday are not going to participate in that at all. So already that's kind of a, that's our, already kind of a downturn in, in engagement and, you know, in community support. Secondly, um, and the bigger one is let's hypothetically say that, you know, 
Like, there's this really, really popular mod called Anti-Birth that's in, that everyone really loves. And, oh, man, Sinvicta, you're going to really enjoy this mod, and it's it's going to be great. And let's, let's hypothetically imagine that I don't like it for whatever reason. Um, and, you know, and instead of, instead of me having an idea that, like, I came up with that, like, sounded good to me at the time or whatever, it was kind of, like, sort of suggested, suggested and not pushed onto me, but, like, strongly suggested should i don't know why i can't say the word suggested strongly suggested uh to me and i don't like it and uh, then uh, you know people are like oh well like you know all, all he did was complain about the mod all, all episode and that's just that just further sort of perpetuates the negativity in in that so it's it's not that I'm openly against the idea of doing a suggestion box, but there's I think that there's a there's some key factors that that people may not realize also go into play when it comes to what gets delivered as content on the channel. Um, this is the stuff I, I I constantly think about, like when it comes to Wacky Wednesday in particular. And Wacky Wednesday had be, had become sort of like a, a a it's been a little bit of a pain lately to try to figure out like what people would like what people would not like and i'm honestly enjoying the break of it right now but it, wacky wednesday will be back um but i think that as i as i postulated in the other episode um taking you know maybe the maybe the month of august off just to sort of recharge the batteries and the think tank for the ideas of wacky wednesday is probably a best move for everybody so that's my long-winded explanation on that one so thank you squigs uh secondly the second most upvoted comment was by shot uh shotgun kings who said i personally like the pokemon mod for wacky wednesday and think more similar uh to that would be fun and yeah the pokemon mod was very popular um we had a lot of fun uh you know checking out like the making the comparisons i can't believe that, that zubat got through there um of like you know the actual games to like you know hey i wonder which pokemon's gonna show up next or like the boss or like the bosses or like the reskins that, that stuff was really cool and i hope that there's in the future i hope that there's more mods like that now we could you know theoretically i mean we still could go back and, and do more of the pokemon mod um and i think that that would be fine i just don't want it to get stale i don't want it to get old um for people because i definitely was super jazzed whenever i whenever i saw that there was a pokemon mod and especially with it was it, with it being so well done um, you know, the, the pizza, the pizza tower, uh, one was another one that a lot of people had, uh, you know, had mixed reactions to, you know, obviously I wasn't, I wasn't that big on the item or on the, uh, mod just because of the fact it sucks, it really sucks. Cause man, we could use Lord of the pit. Uh, uh. Sorry, little Brimmy. Ooh, but little Brimmy died for our. Use his shadow, man. If I, oh, if I had only used Sack Alter on Little Brimmy before going into the Devil Deal, we could have actually gotten Lord of the Pit. Oh man. Yeah. Well, hindsight's always twenty twenty. What can you do? Sorry, Little Brimmy, but thank you, Little Brimmy. But yeah, I like I did like the Pokemon one. Um, you know, the the Pizza Tower one is still kind of remains to be seen whether or not we'll revisit that. I, I I haven't been keeping up with the development of that one. I don't even know if the if the creator saw the video or if people on Steam were talking about it. Um, but you know, hopefully if that hopefully if that one does change, um, we'll definitely revisit that one because I like the idea of it. I just think I felt that there was a a good need for a couple tweaks here and there and i wasn't the only one thankfully <laughs> i wasn't the only one saying saying the things that were kind of annoying in that in that uh that mod so hopefully hopefully it's, it's been improved so if it has let me know i'm always i'm always down oh, look how many shadows we actually started spawning here thanks to my shadow of course we have juice's shadow now so that is going to give us a way out in case we don't get any damage upgrades or anything like that um currently we need movement speed badly Movement speed is not phenomenal here. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, and finally, the uh, the uh, the third most upvoted challenge was from I'm gonna say Separus Separus. I'm not sure how to say their name. Uh, they said, "I like seeing you do actually difficult challenges, hard but not unnecessarily fair. The wakey or the wacky runs are great, but seeing you min max and having to think through the game is more fun." Um, and I'm not entirely sure what they're if they mean like the canonical challenges, like the ones that, that are in Repentance and Afterbirth and that sort of thing, um, or if they just mean in general like the really challenging like struggle bus runs. Um, but yeah, I, I mean like the wacky runs are fun, but that kind of goes back to the whole. The whole thing why wacky wednesday has taken a little bit of a break and, and it's the return of just an extra eden run but essentially every single week is because people really enjoy you know seeing the opportunities to see like what is what is isaac going to do today how badly is isaac going to screw us invicta today <laughs> and i think that that's kind of turned into the sideshow of hilarity and also like you know there there is the there's the avenue of strategical endeavor that we can try to flex and, and explore more to say hey you know there, there's a there's a combo we've never seen before or hey like look at look at this look at this item that Sinvicta really didn't like and now he does like you know it's sort of like the, it's like the saga of items it's a rotating it's a rotating door of items that sometimes I like sometimes I don't for evil charm here which is not really going to do much for us but because we don't have any on tier effect well no, that's not, technically not true we do have the on tier effect of um of the of the uh, eyeshadow, but unfortunately, um, I don't think it's luck based. So, yeah, missing out on that last devil deal definitely hurt, though. Not being able to get that movement speed upgrade or the guppy item, and now that we have guppy's tail, these are going to be real short supply. We need to get some keys, and we need to get some good chests here. As we do get a hero font card, which is going to help us out a little bit. And again, as always, even if you're some people, I, I've seen a couple of people be a little discouraged that that their comments are not being seen um, because it's you know it's not being upvoted or they just don't get to the video in time. And uh, you know I can't do anything about that, but um, I, I still read them though. I still want people to, to understand that like I still read the replies. It's, they're just not going to be read on the on the video. Um, but everything is arbitrary, of course. I, like I can read any comment I wanted to really. Uh, but it, just to give it a little bit of structure, I think some uh, like an attainable goal for people. Uh, but yes, it does seem the 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 amount of upvotes do tend to favor the early comments, and it's hard to pass up Anima Sola. It really is. We've already touched the nail for uh, we've already touched the nail for the Leviathan transformation, which is good. Are we really going to go Anima Sola over the nail, man? That is, that is a bold, bold, bold clan. Well, man, Infamy is just killing it for us. I mean, it, it is undeniable how good Anima Sola is. Is it better in a very not great run than an HP generator? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, a greed fight. I mean, the nail couldn't do what we just did to greed right here. <laughs> Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, the nail is, uh, the nail is powerful. We were already out of keys, unfortunately. I think rolling for a key or two would be smart. <sighs> a Genesis, though. If we Genesis as Black Judas, we come back as Black Judas. Man, that is, that's too tempting to pass up. If we cut, if we, if we transform into Black Judas now and then use Genesis, we will still, I believe, be Black Judas. I think, I think this is actually going to be kind of an interesting experiment. So what we need to do is we need to turn into Black Judas, which means that we need to get rid of all of our HP. So hopefully we'll do that right here, this devil deal. And then we need to use Genesis probably at the end of this floor, or we can try to or we can go through depths two and get a couple more items. So I'm going to, okay, no, I'm going to do it on this floor because we have a soul heart. Actually, no, the soul heart's not even going to matter. And I think about it, if we turn into black Judas and then use Genesis. So yeah, that, that won't even matter. Fortunately, we didn't get a lump of coal. So thank you Krampus for quite literally nothing. 
I think we'll, I think we can go for another floor. Let's try to get boss rush. How about that? That that'd be a good that'd be a good goal to get to try to get boss rush here. Because now this run has evolved into, you know, well, we're kind of a mediocre, not great, not bad run, just mediocre. Mediocre is. Uh, to, hey, we've got a potential to really ball out of control now as Black Judas after using Genesis. We just need to get rid of, we just need to get rid of our HP and turn into Black Judas. But I don't want to do that on this floor because then we're going to skip the Polaroid and the negative, And then the run ends and then like all the fun is gone. I don't care too much about losing HP here. I'm not going to die deliberately, but I do want to try to get to back-to-back -back greed fights. There we go. Right now, we're just trying to get any, any extra items that we can. Mom's key, it, Mom's key would have been the auto, the auto choice had we stuck with uh, Guppy's tail, but we're not going to. We are probably going to use it on womb one after we're done. Uh, with this floor here, but we got to get to boss rush though. Look at that, my shadow just absolutely molly whopping everything. It's amazing to me how sometimes the fatty baddies like just decide not to fire when they get super close to you, and then there's other times where some bats are just like, I'm going to fire constantly and make sure that you uh, get hit. We have also made sure that we've gone the wrong way, as we always do. That's just what we do. When people ask, what do we do here in the mosh pit? We go the wrong way. I honestly don't, I honestly don't care at this point. I, I need to, we need to get the need to get the item from boss rush is growing and growing. And I don't think we're even going to find our item room at this point. So charm effect really charm effect really breaking my brain there for a second because one jumped one way the other jumped the other way found the boss and we did find a fool card so we are going to get out of there which is good but we still got to kill mom in less than a minute and so we don't have to use genesis to get out of here which i which i wasn't going to do anyway but at least now we can go into the item room still and still get boss rush assuming that we're able to kill bomb here and I'm just gonna nuke all of our all of our uh, all of our HP we didn't get a devil deal anyway so and uh, now that I think about it we can't actually take an item because uh, uh, yeah actually no we can okay and if we go out here do this and we take ghost pepper again this is just for the item there's probably a smarter way to do that, but that was the only way I could think of without uh, the doors closing or anything. Okay, so now all we gotta do is just not die to get back to the mom room, and then we'll use Genesis. And theoretically, we should still be Black Judas, I think. I think. I think. And here's a neat little twist of fate too. We can actually get another boss item, well, potential boss item out of this uh, boss trap room. So we get inner eye, which is not really what we're looking for. But again, this is just to give us more items to roll through. And uh, there's a there's the third guppy item that we cannot take. I'm going to take torn photo here, even though this is super dangerous with us only being on one HP. You got to remember, we are black Judas, so it's not like we're defenseless here. So I did not want to see bloat. Thankfully, we absolutely smoked him and Monstro. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So there we go. So full clear has been has been completed. High five all around, everyone. Congrats. We did it. And then what we'll do is we'll immediately go to womb one, and then we'll rip Genesis and see what we get. So, yeah. And none of this matters because none of it's going to stay with us when we use Genesis. So another strategical Genesis. 
And we are Black Judas. So we did stay as Black Judas. That is awesome. That is like actually dope. And there's also nine lives in here along with a bedroom. So, and remember Black Judas cannot get uh, red hearts. So we can get on, we can get in the bed and also get a uh, three soul hearts. So this was already a better, a better choice here. Growth hormones, look at that. We also get a second, uh, second syringe item. I mean, we got to take spin down, right? Got to take spin down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd rather have the pack than anything else. Uh, meat, wooden spoon. Looking at the external information mod here. Honestly, like the base value, the base speed of, of Black Juice is pretty good. So I'm going to go for damage here. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly kind of sick of Tech X right now. We, we've had we've had Tech X for a while. Uh, yeah, there's no way that we turn down. No way we turn down Incubus here. We just go straight damage. Still looking for a good turn. Uh, looking for a good um, spin down die target, but any one is fantastic. Uh, we could take the school bag to have two to have two space for items. I think that's not a bad idea, especially if we get forced into losing spin down, which I don't want to do. We absolutely do not want car battery. Um, I guess there's options? Question mark. Could take hive mind, I suppose, but I just I worry about us finding something else that's better to use for a spin down die target. Kind of light would be amazing, unfortunately. Ooh, I do like I do like Isaac's tomb. Is it is it spin down worthy though? <sighs> I'm gonna take succubus. Ant is really good here. Quince. Uh, I don't think we want lard. I. Quince is not bad, but none of these items are really all that great. I guess I'll take tooth and nail. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. So we could have taken we could have taken Quince here, but I think overall, with us being Black Judas with nine lives, and having the uh, the the damage multiplier now, I think that we absolutely made a much better run out of this. Because remember, we got to go down to fight Lamb now, so. But undoubtedly, with with us being as as Judas now, I'm like, we're we're, we're gonna smoke everything here. And we're already we're almost back to full HP here. You know, we we basically have a better tears rate than what we did, and we have nine lives and way more HP, more damage to show for it. So yeah, Genesis, Genesis was good. And on top of all that, we also have spin down die with the four and a half volt, so we can get multiple, multiple, multiple rolls of stuff. It was kind of hard to pass up the uh, what was it? It was forget me now and. Chaos. Chaos was the other one for spin down. So we got to get some value out of out of spin down here. This, oh, yeah, we can't get to that. Fine. Take it back. Spin down die, by the way, everyone, if you didn't know, is going to spin the dice down or spin the item rooms that we see on the item pedestals down by one item ID. So it potentially can get you items that you probably shouldn't be able to see <laughs> uh, on this run, depending on what the... Uh, depending on what the... Uh, loot table is. But, unfortunately, we're not going to get any items for a while unless we do get one in our devil deal, which is 100%, by the way. So, if you don't know what happened, we we in, we skipped the entirety of Womb 1 um, in favor of doing Genesis. That's the reason why we're automatically on Womb 2 here. So, And that turns into C-section. Man, C-section with this build... Yeah, I think we got to go for it. C-section is going to be incredibly, incredibly powerful. It is going to kill our tears rate, but remember, we have, we, we've got Succubus and Incubus. Now, what I really like about, about having uh, Black Judas as our character and then getting C-section is if you take a look at the, if you take a look at the C-section babies, they are all... Uh, Black Judas babies, which is really, really cool. Like, I, I, I don't know, especially when they have the glowing eyes of uh, of Continuum. That looks, it looks terrifying, but also really freaking like sick. As in like sick, nasty, crazy, cool. Not like sick, as in like ooh, disgusting. Spin down, die, paying off dividends already. I'm 
Very sad that my babies did not catch up to that target. Black and purple is just a this is an awesome color combination. Even though it is it is like representative of the Baltimore Ravens, and I do not like the Ravens at all. It's still a cool color combo. There's something there's something satisfying about that combo. Just gonna let C section do all the work here. We're gonna try to stick into the Tucky Bispora. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit difficult to see where Judas is in this room. Yeah. Now I kind of wish that we would have taken Tech X. <laughs> this Tech X C-section is honestly incredible. We got uh, Goat Head, Blind Intervention, Orphan Socks. I do want to tears up, so we don't need the Spectral Tears. Orphan Socks is a nice movement speed and spike immunity. I'm going to take Goat Head, and then I'm going to get Orphan Socks, which does, they do give us a, a couple of Soul Hearts, too. And, oh, God, our face. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that for now. <laughs> Obviously, we got to be a little bit careful, but also, obviously, we have so much damage right now that it's even if we go down to one HP, Lamb doesn't have a chance. <laughs> Excuse me, I tried to. It was a rapid sneeze, man. I turned away from the microphone as soon as I could, and I think I broke my neck. <laughs> I've been sneezing a lot. Like, I don't know if it's the allergies just kicking in or what. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're getting lots of. Soul Hearts here from the Blessed Penny. I didn't even talk about that we got. Yeah, I've been sneezing a lot lately. I don't know what it is. It ain't springtime, that's for sure, brother. I can tell you that. I'm, I'm ready for fall and winter, especially. Way too dang hot outside. You core my coasts would be pretty nice for this build in particular here and you know we've got to deal damage to get charges on our on our spacebar items so see the the c-section babies are slowly but surely dealing damage we just need to get a tankier target then there we go Mucor Mycosis and C-Section is a very, very, very good combo. Why did it bounce that? Very weird bounce. All right, so let's go get Mucor Mycosis. We could get Dreamcatcher, but I think, we'll, I think we'll be fine without it. So Mucor Mycosis, gonna give us those nice mushroom clouds that we get. Essentially, they're just going to be dealing bad gas damage to anything that they hit and uh, proc on. <clears throat> and with us having uh, Evil Charm now, that's going to be pretty much all the time. They saw the little the little C-section Mucor Mycosis babies there after they exploded on a target. Kind of what I'm talking about. You just gain more projectiles that deal more and more damage to stuff. By the way, if you're wondering what gave us that horrifying face, it's Ouija board. <laughs> Ouija board is uh, quite terrifying. It's one of the, still one of the few faces that can really get a sort of a, a nasty reaction from me. That, the intruder, and uh, dead dove. Cricket's body is also pretty bad, but it's, it's, it's nothing like those two. Those two items in particular are horrible. And we might as well get, oh no, we can't get Dreamcatcher. Well, the Pascal Candle is actually not that bad either. Um, especially given, like, how badly C-Section destroys your tears rate. It's actually pretty nice to have. Sit here and dodge a million billion 
uh, projectiles and we continue to do the meme thing which is to find every wrong way to go it's something that you all should be very 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 well versed in now like to get the relic so I'm actually gonna kill myself again or not uh let's so I want I want to get the relic because I want the tears up so what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and get a full charge on lamb hopefully we don't kill him and then back out and re-roll to get the relic not sorry not the relic the rosary there we go so now I'm gonna kill myself now we're gonna go out of this room and then we're gonna re-roll into the rosary this gives us a tears up a bunch of soul hearts and uh yeah that's a way 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 better proposition than what we were just what we were just looking at so we go look at that we went to we went to zero zero soul hearts up to five now and we got a tears up for it wow right it's invicta smart it's invicta smart not always but it's invicta smart good run man good run How's that board miscolored? Second seed. Sassy! Gila Gila. Oh, two Foxtrot. Why does this board up here look so weird? I don't know. That's That looks off to me. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, if you're wondering why our tears rate is uh, fluctuating as well, that is from the Pascal Candle, as that will reward us with a tears upgrade every single time we uh, don't take damage in a room to a certain point. We also lost our membership card because we obviously used... We used uh, uh, Genesis. What does coupon turn into again? Hmm, that is tempting. Let's see. I wouldn't mind getting jumper cables here, especially for spin down die. The more the more spin down die charges that you can get, the better. Whoop to whoop, and quad shot. Hmm. I don't know about quad shot because that is going to kill our tears rate, but I I am kind of interested in tech two because I don't honestly remember what tech two and C section does. I don't remember if it gives them beams that they fire out of their eyes or if it connects them with la with lasers. So we're gonna find out. And I mean we've had we've had quad shot C section many times now, so I think let's try something new. We are probably not going to get a full charge unless we get a super tanky uh, boss or I, I kill myself again on the boss and yeah. Uh, not enough. Pentagram gonna give us the Leviathan transformation. We are gonna get flying. Just need a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And we're getting nine lives again because hell, why not at this point? Uh. Sure. Gonna drop our HP back down to that. Uh, what was I looking for again? Oh, yeah, Tech 2. It does nothing. Okay. Well, good to know. Arm card, okay. good to know so it, it just it just does it just does nothing i thought it would be really cool if the c-section babies actually like fired out of their eyes and stuff but can't have everything we want i guess probably should have taken growth hormones to be honest because that would have given us spun and more damage anyway and given us a the same amount an equal amount of movement speed but in my haste i didn't think about that A penny giving us a 50 50 or no it's a it's less than 50 50 shot what what's the payout ratio on blessed penny it's not high 17 percent chance you get a, a half soul heart every single time you pick up a coin so when it works it works i'm not going to use the hermit card here oh i will however take card reading as this run is now super duper over because obviously card reading is going to possibly give us the ability to skip levels, go straight to the boss, which I'm all for. 
Big meat. And there's no reason not to take Damocles. I will take Damocles with 15 HP. Sure, we'll also take Ivy Colt. And uh, Buddy Lust is also not too bad either. Hey, we've got 14 friggin' lives. I think we're going to be okay. Something tells me that we're going to be fine. We do not get the. Uh... Well, I definitely want miter. Um, we didn't get the red portal, which would take us directly to the boss. Go back and get miter, as that is just going to increase. Oh, oh yeah, we have uh... got uh, Damocles. Red Stew turns into Birthright, which... Birthright for Black Judas? I don't know what that does. I think... I think it just gives him the Book of Belial as the Book of Virtues. In fact, like regular Judas gets, I think. Truth be told, I don't... I know that we've had Birthright on Black Judas before. I just don't remember... I just don't remember. Look, look at that damage. Uh, go for the tears up and uh, the tears up. Okay, Bible rotten baby. Go back and see what birthright does because I honestly do not remember. Uh, book of law, yeah, so it's, it's the same exact thing. So whenever we use the whenever we use our space for item, it's going to give us the Book of Belial effect. Um which is good. But do we need it though? Uh, probably not. Tech two is kind of is kind of overtaking everything. I guess we could have gone we we could have gone alt path too. Especially with us having card reading. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Card reading. Love seeing those red portals. Makes levels so much easier. Not that we are, are, are like struggling, of course, but it is it is still very, very, very good. Consolation prize. Also got spun, and we get another quarter. Unfortunately, we don't have any. We, we don't have the. We don't have the the luck effect anymore. We have no need for luck. Perfection is out the window. We get birthright anyway, because sure. Belial incarnate. Now that is metal right there. Get the item room because I don't think that we probably need it. Be good. Maybe we'll get a planetarium. I don't even think we've taken damage yet. Thus having Damocles. I'm pretty sure we haven't. I mean, how could we? Like we do so much damage to everything around us. Like that. Uh, sure. We'll take Mom's Pearls for another HP up. Human Baby turns into stuff that we don't care about either, so... Let's we'll use a Hermit card real quick. Hermit. Uh, just to peruse, you know, see if there's anything worth taking in here. It's not. Like I'm, I'm not gonna miss out on my half my half heart away. We don't get a boss item here, or sorry, a boss portal, and that's honestly fine. Uh, we get Aquarius, which turns into Capricorn, and Champion Belt as well. Goodness. I mean, even without the Book of Belial proc, like, we're doing, like, just an absolute butt-ton of damage. Get a full card. Now, what's nice about having Damocles going into boss rush, obviously, is that we're just going to get... When we're talking about absolute butt-tons, we're going to get, I mean, butt-tons of items as well. And really, honestly, the MVP of this run... I know that people are going to want to say it's, it's, it's Genesis, but honestly, honestly, it's Juice's Shadow. Use his shadow. Not that we were in like a terrible spot here 
on this run at any given time, but Juice's Shadow really opened up a world of possibilities for us. Even though I didn't play it correctly when we first got it, necessarily correctly anyway. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be too hard on myself. Um, because, again, you don't want to... Don't, don't ever use hindsight against anybody, especially especially yourself. you got to be in your own corner, you know? If you're not going to be on your side, then who is? Of keys and bombs here. But even though it was a slight misplay not to not to use sack sack altar on little Brimmy before we went to the devil deal, because uh, you never know what we, we could have gotten at the end at all, it still worked out beautifully. Oh my goodness! If we can get Diplopia, holy moly! If we can get Diplopia, things start happening. Things start happening in a good way for for boss rush. Because my god, the amount of items that we're potentially going to be looking at here are... <sighs> immense. Yeah, cool. We just need four cents. There it is. Oh my goodness. This is... Now we're not going to have spin down die in there. Oh no, no, no. We will. We will. We have, uh, we've got backpack. Yeah, we got backpack. Oh my god. This is This is about to be insane, y'all. Get ready for an item explosion. Because not only do we have the boss rush, not only do we have the boss rush uh pedestals being made by, well, boss rush and then doubled by Damocles, it's also going to happen again when we use Diplopia. So get ready for this, cause yeah, this is this is gonna be screenshot worthy. Yeah. And then watch this. <laughs> yeah. That's uh a lot of items there. Now we don't have to we only need to take one of these to activate boss rush. And the reason why I'm gonna wait on everything else is because I'm just gonna start randomly rolling things, because I don't at this point, I don't know what things are going to turn into what. Get nine lives, use of shadow, mystery gift, peace, or, uh, plan C. We'll, we'll just take stuff as they come, you know? Another C section. Oh, man. Use mascara. I think he's mascara because we have tech two, so I would like to see what two C sections do. It just gives us 2020. Okay. SMB Super Van would be a tears up. So would uh, so would the uh, mom's perfume. We could take a, I mean, we could take a forget me now and just do it again. Boss soul buddy, check him out now. Guppy's hairball would give us Guppy. Okay. Nothing's, nothing spectacular so far. Oh, we're done. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take. Uh, I mean, friend finder would be cool. We're only we're only two away from death certificate, y'all. The fool. We can keep that. We can keep that room open, but I don't think it's going to be possible for us to get a full charge, so. All right. Well, we gave ourselves another another Depths 2 here. Might as well make use of it. Now, what gave us our, what gave us the skeleton babies? Oh, it was a uh, compound fracture. That's what it was. My goodness, we have got a lot of damage. Like not including like what our tears are doing or C-section. Just think about the guppy flies alone. Should go to the item room, but yeah. 
Might as well go negative again. We have another double deal here. Oh, God. Well, uh, yeah. We can take Kidney Stone, and we might as well take Sacred Orb, because, I mean, for the run that's got everything. And, uh, let's see here. Well, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta take it. Yeah, I got it. Gotta take it, Cac. I mean, come on now. And, uh, I don't know what things roll into. We're just gonna find out. So Ipecac might have been a might have been a bad bad idea at the, at the time. It made sense, but you know what? With 13 lives and us being Black Judas, I think we're gonna be okay. Lost soul, but well, uh, I mean we got another Diplopia. Got another Diplopia, y'all. We can make more item pedestals appear. Sitting here talking about all this as like things are blowing up everywhere. Remember, we have the cancer item, so it's not going... It, all these hits, in, even in a victory lap, it doesn't mean anything. We're, 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 we're getting hit for half hearts. Oh, man, the mulligan is so good. I'm going to use Diplopia. We're going to go... Screw. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Oh. Could have gotten Tech X, son. Um, I mean, this is, this is just as good, of course. Uh, I have no way of getting another, another charge, unfortunately. There we go. And, uh, sure. Blood bombs. Hot bombs for the road. All right. That, that, that deserves a huge thumbs up right there. That boss rush was probably the best boss rush I think I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, we're just doing 347 damage inside of Succubus Aura. 250 damage unbuffed, ba basically. I mean, yeah. You know, it, it's, a, it's a typical everyday St. Victor run. You know, there's ebb and flow. There's, there's, uh, there's difficult challenges and, and all, all sorts of, like, you know, the game's pulling its shenanigans as always. This is another run of the mill day, you know? Being pushed. Let's do kidney stone. Kidney stone being a little. Yep. Babies are exploding, by the way, in case you didn't didn't realize that, what's going on here. Uh thank you. Thank you, game. Okay, good. Really quality devil deal right there. Not that we needed one anymore, of course. Still managed to not get a red portal. Okay, you know what? Patience is now gone. These stones just firing volleys and volleys and volleys of tears. Actually gained a half soul heart to do that. Okay, good. How does he do it? Oh yeah, we've already been over there. How does he do it? I think now is a good time to ask the question of the episode here. And this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a spicy one because I know that the, the the opinions on this are going to be varied. What is your take on card reading? Do you enjoy taking card reading? Do you see the value in being able to skip directly to the boss? Do you hate it because it makes the videos seem a little bit shorter than they usually would be? Even though we're on a winning run, of course. Or do you love it? Do you love the idea that you know you don't have to put up with Isaac's BS and just go straight to whatever boss you want? Assuming you get the red portal, of course, which we have not gotten. At, at this point, it, it really doesn't matter. What does the shovel turn into? Oh, it turns into the nail again. We've, we've come full circle. And heck yeah, we're going to go fight old Hushy. I mean, why wouldn't we? That's your question of the episode, everybody. What is your take on card reading? Do you think card reading just makes things worse? Do you think it makes things better? Yeah, we're going to take Trisagion because you know what? It's a new era for us. 
is the new the new Sinvicta. We willingly take Tribe Adian. Gotta take Riddle Bones here. Although I think Riddle Bones turns into something good with spin down, so I don't remember. And yeah. Take that. Alright, let's see what old Hushy has in store for us. Old Hushy. Oh yeah. We're just gonna be able to just do that over and over again, huh? All right, that's how you beat Hush. I'm not gonna let him get away. We're gonna skip Isaac and Blue Baby, go straight to Delirium. We're not gonna let him get away with this because I gotta see what that does against Delirium. Playing with my Delirium. So, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you post your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on card reading. And if you enjoyed this episode, this incredibly powerful synergy, make sure you click that like button. Leave a comment down below. We got blown into the, the chest. It doesn't even matter, man. So what an explosive Wednesday this was. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Dakota Taylor, Kaizo Blades, and Lang Wart. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta. 